G'day mates and welcome back to Somalia. Last time we left off, uh, well actually it was 10 minutes ago, but uh, I looked up those Mega Games stuff, because I was talking about Mega Games last time, and I found out it was 300 people in that Mega Game I was referring to. It, there might have been a bigger one since, but this was a while back. Um, yeah, 300 people in one, uh, all playing one game, and they were playing a game called Watch the Skies, which is actually a board, like there's a board game elements to it, but it's all sort of obfuscated by the, uh, the GMs who run it behind the screens. Um, and I was thinking of it, it reminds me of a game called Paranoia, uh, which is a really fun RPG, right? So those who don't know, Paranoia is this weird RPG where it's sort of player versus player, but not really, and it's like you're all working for... God, these dust zombies are incredibly fucking annoying. Can you move along, please? Jesus. Um, yeah, it's this tabletop RPG where you basically, you all serve the computer as troubleshooters, and the computer runs the complex where everyone's kept safe, right? It's, it's like a post-apocalyptic sort of world where you're all clones who are kept safe, right? And there's, everyone's rated on a colour, so you know, you're, you all start off as red, because I think red is one step above infrared, which is basically uncoloured and the lowest ranking of person. And like, up the top are the purples who code the computer, um, except even they are still like under the rule of the computer. And you know, and the computer always watches you and you've got to watch out for communists and traitors. If you see a communist, you've got to tell you, but you're all secretly part of a, uh, of a group. You might be, um, you'll have a job, you'll, you might be like actually a communist or you might be a technologist or whatever. Um, also, it's like, it's like basically this ridiculous, awesome game, but, uh, fuck, we need, uh, steel. Um, how many bloody civvy factories we got? Oh, we got a lot now. Holy shit, that war went good for me. All right, steel, let's bloody... Oh. Uh, America? Sure, let's buy five more lots of steel. I guess one more from the Russian Republic? Sure. Anyway, that should, uh, settle us for steel for now. But, you know, so these, um, yeah, there's all these guys at... What's called? The whole point of the game is you start off with the GM who makes your character and gives you a character, and then you don't know what the system is. You're just told, we're playing Paranoia. You don't know what you do. You roll dice what am I going for? Am I aiming for high? Low? Medium? Am I aiming for a specific number? Who knows? The GM doesn't tell you. He just tells you what happens once you roll the dice. Um, so yeah, it's a lot of fun stuff like that, uh, where everyone's, like, you, the people just say what they're going to do and the GM sort of helps them out. It's very fun. The biggest problem with it is the fact that because no one knows the system, rolling up characters takes 10 years because the GM has to do it for you, right? Um, but you're all, like, part of secret alliances and stuff, and it, it's hilarious and amazing. And the GM has to, like, individually give you information and stuff. It, very, very, very good game. Um, but that's what it sort of felt like when I saw it. Are you back at war again with the Italian fucking Federation? What is happening here? Where is... They're fighting an offensive war, trying to take a fucking, uh... Oh, they, they declare war on, uh, Socialist Republic, which has now all become the French Entente. Whoops. Uh, what do we want to take? There's nothing really here we need. Nothing here we need. Uh, we're getting that. That's fine. We're getting that. Uh, don't want to do tanks. I guess let's get, like, entrenchment and stuff. Anyway. So, yeah, it's all that fun stuff. And, uh, it, it basically felt like a game where you didn't really know what you're doing. You just set it. And, um, and I really kind of want to run some... I don't even, like, want to write something just for my friends and all that. Um, because I've built a few games before. I'm a big fan of designing games and such. Um... And I'm, I, I love the idea of arguing over logistics, weirdly enough. Like, that sort of... The ability of, uh, you know, being like, no, I need more of this, and I need more of this. Or like, or working together, but still having competition, or even having traitors and stuff would be uh, very fun. I feel like uh, the few ideas I've had was taking a game called Rex, which is a version of um, Twilight Imperium, but it's like a ground assault thing, and uh, playing with that. Or, or doing, like, a twinned ship thing, so, like, have two ships... Uh, you know, one one side is has got a commander, you know, an engineer, and blah, 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 and the, but the ships are facing off against each other. But I kind of like, you know, we'll see. It's, I, like, I'm looking into designing one of that uh, for, for playing, but it's basically a small version of a mega game. Um, mega games generally have way, like, they have, like, 12 DMs, bunch of countries, like, it depends on the size, really. Like, you'd have a mega game with, like, 10 people, but at that I, I feel like the real fun comes in that it's not just you running a country. It's like, um, we've got the Prime Minister, then we've got the Diplomat, then we've got the General, right, from one country. So it's like, you know, three or four people per country. 
um, that's where the fun comes in because you know you've all got your roles to do then you're all interacting and some of you might have uh, different desires than your actual general and such so I don't know it's all kind of fun stuff anyway um, how long do we can actually kick your teeth in 47% all right um, how are the Ottomans doing also what the fuck is with the bloody Germans being everywhere I need to go anyway the Ottomans aren't too tough they're certainly tougher than Egypt but the pro oh, okay the problem is their military factories they're gonna have more than enough uh, guns to actually kill me so and I couldn't pull such an easy surround on them so there's anything I could do Greece maybe oh they're in the Austrian f sphere never mind once I'm through here the French Republic are in the Entente still aren't they yeah okay Union of South Africa that's Entente Portugal. I guess I could take on Germany. There's 200 fucking divisions though. No, I, like where are they? They must all be here. They must have all retreated to Africa where they all now just hide. Because I can't really think of anywhere else they would be. Hey, more manpower. Lovely. We'll actually train up some more divisions here then. Get five more of these lads from uh, Ethiopia. Has Ethiopia still got manpower? Good. Actually, I, it's, I wish you'd like there was an easy readout of your subject's manpower. Yeah, okay, so they still got well enough, uh, well more than enough, so put out 10, actually. Cool. Um, always put that on highest priority. And we'll go train two more of the home divisions. We'll go in the Nubian Federation signed. Beautiful. We'll actually turn this to being elite, so our home divisions are elite. And we'll turn these divisions to being normal. Good stuff. Okay, we don't have enough uh, cars. Yet. No, okay, that's fine. All right, cool. Uh, we'll have 70,000 left over. Whoa. That's kind of weird. I, I guess that looks so weird because those are... Ah, oh, I know why I know why that freaked me out. Okay, so... Normally that doesn't look weird because you're like, Oh, look. Welsh Union's gone. Jesus, again? It's like, oh, look, it's there. Whatever. But that looks weird because that's overlaid on top of the storm. See? That's kind of funky. Yeah, man, the storm is really fucking roaring. Does it actually is it, does it actually do anything? Yeah, sandstorm. Holy shit! Air detection minus ninety percent, plus sixty percent accidents, minus a hundred percent ground bombing, minus fifty percent organization uh, regain, and minus fifty percent efficiency. Yeah, let's not run any air units for now because that'll fucking kill them. Let's get improved infantry equipment. We've actually got pretty good tech. Um. But really, I, I think the Ottomans are going to be my next attack after trip, uh, the trip, Tripolian state. Uh, oh, Tripol, Tripol, trip, blah, 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 blah. Tripolitania. There you go. I think that's how you say it. Trip, tri, 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 triple. But you know, um, it just, I looked online for the uh, bloody calendar for these mega games. It doesn't look like there's going to be one in Australia, at least for next year. And that makes me super sad to the point where I kind of want to try and run one of my own. But uh, it's all, I've got so many things I want to do once my exams are through and done. And then we're, uh, we're beautiful to do a lot of stuff. Foxhole as well, is that a cool update? Like I'm just killing time so I can finally declare this fucking war. Alright, Foxhole's a cool update that actually, uh, well it's got a new little game mode where the defense structures aren't so fucking bullshit. Um, I'm definitely going back and play armor. There's a lot of stuff I want to do, but uh, man I just, I want to play, because like, it's, the biggest problem with exams is they just know, like, free time. And I have so many board games sitting in my closet that I want to play through. And, uh, man, I can't wait. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be great. Hmm. Right, oh, come on, man. Come on! What are you doing? 94%? I'm wondering if I let them attack me first or I go in for the... I think let them attack me. Holy shit. Okay, so... Kingdom of Finland was annexed. They were at war, really? Oh shit. Why does Jap Why? Why, Papa? Why? Why did they take eight fucking state why did you Why were you the chief? <laughs> That's not okay. What just happened there? Not fine. Oh god. Uh, what do we want to do? War organization. Let's do it. Oh no, the Italian Federation finally got taken out. New. No. New. No. Pope Pius. How's Mussolini doing? Is he still around? Mussolini's still here. Nice. Hey, finally. Declare war. 
Yeah, wait for them to... Because we've got the sandstorm still on? No, the sandstorm's just fucking finished, but... Okay, it's extremely hot, so they're going to attrition and die, basically. Wait. Okay, all their attacks failed. Okay, now we respond and we crush them. Simple as that. We're actually just moving in with 13 lads because we uh, will otherwise... It's called run out of supplies. Brazil and Argentina signed a peace. Wait, they're called Argentina now? What? Oh my god. Oh my... What the fuck is happening here? They've apparently gained a racing stripe. Oh, no, never mind. It's gone now. So you're not called Argentina because you're no longer La Plata. Uh, because you're the puppet of Brazil. Fair enough. Paraguay is now free. Uruguay is now free. Brazil's chillin'. Peruvian state's still a thing. Chile's tiny, but still a thing. Ecuador, Colombia, Venezuela. I like how these guys are all, like, market liberals and social democrats when normally they're fascists. And, uh, radical socialists. And then if we've got radical socialists who won that civil war. Radical socialists. Panama is actually Commonwealth. Social conservatives won the Haiti war. Market liberals. This fucking amazing guy here. And, of course, the Caribbean Federation with the best hat in the world and infinite fucking manpower, apparently, because they're still invading... Wait, did you just capitulate and then free yourself again? What is wrong with this fucking poet that he can't hold on to his nation? The fall of Barcelona. Man, that makes me sad. Man. Carlos Spain, I wish you would win. I wish you well, Carlos Spain. I'm, I'm, I'm praying for you. My thoughts and prayers. Fuck, I just watched the... Uh, is it Anthony... Nelzik? Jelzik? I don't know how to say his last name. I've lost it. Uh, but the guy who makes fun of Thoughts and Prayers, and that is one of the best comedy skits I've seen in a while. It's actually old as hell, though. Um, go, on, go on, go on, go on. Another clan argument. Why did they just started happening recently? Is this because the syndicalists started fucking with my nation, and so the clan started arguing about whether we should blow the syndicalists up in exchange or what? Okay, just, just go. Go. Just cut them off at the pass. Let's go to Benghazi. We'll be right. And is I going to chill here? Yeah, there we go. Good, good, good. we got guys moving in all directions. That's fine. Wait for it. Okay, there we go. And wait. Move them to here. Mobile army doctrine. What did that do? Oh, for mobile warfare. I mean, that helps. We can, we can get the last one with a little bonus. That's nice. Division speed goes up. We actually... Are we up to the last one? No, we're going to get werewolf gorillas. God, once again, the tactics are the weirdest fucking tech. I don't, I don't know why they're ever a thing. Guys, if you could uh, support these these lads here. They're getting kind of fucked up. Nope, okay. Just a little bit more aid. Um, I don't really... Yeah, I think these 13 lads will have it. We'll just... Try and punch through here. Come on. Someone's going to break through eventually. Go, 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 go. Beautiful. Once again, the surround begins. I actually, like, I don't really care about surrounding them. I just want to rush to the capital without, like, all their troops are distracted, so... Here we go. Actually, you know what? You guys can punch through. There we go. Ah, oh, shit. They're actually resisting. Okay, you four here. Go for Tripoli. There we go. Oh, shit. No, they're just going to reassign, aren't they? Oh, yeah, because they got ports. They're going to go through the ports. God damn it. Okay, go grab Benghazi. There we go. At least punish them for doing this. Oh, the fucking sandstorm's back. Oh, Darude, why? You're right, bugger. Wait, what the shit? Are they... I'm not sure which way they're going, because these guys retreated and those guys retreated, so... Where did their armies go? What the shit? The Bateriot Commune took one state, Feng Tang took four, Bhutan Tibet is gone. Man! 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 What the fuck has happened here? There's some conf Why does the Commune of France have a single state here? That's disgusting. Ugh. Kingdom of Thailand. Oh, look, the Dutch East Indies went, uh... What are they, Social Democrats? Netherlands, are they still a thing? Oh, they are too. I like how the Netherlands like the bastion of democracy in this world. You guys authoritarian dem? No, you're Social Democrats. Oh, fuck. All right, go Austrians. Oh, Den Denmark's chilling too? Nice. Ah, oh, hang on, the Norwegians went socialist. Might have to kick their teeth in. All right. What are we bloody doing? Uh, more of these? Oh, fuck. They do have bloody civvy factories. Uh, not civvy, military factories, rather. What do we need here? We have no resources. We need rubber and steel. So, let's call in some tungsten. Here we go. We got eight of that. 
Uh, let's call in some more steel. Oh, the bloody syndicalists have stopped. Right. Why does this keep happening? Oh. Oh, right, we can just get Ethiopia's steel. That'll work. Um, Greece. God, no one has steel to trade. Uh, anyone? 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 No, okay, let's just go another eight from them. Another eight from these guys. We'll call in some aluminium from the combined syndicate states. Syndicate states, rather. That should do us, yeah? We're all producing something? No, we aren't. Because not all of us get steel. All right, we'll move the guns down. So the guns... Yeah, we're, we're still producing everything. And the guns just get produced less. That'll work. Man, we've got to start m making our own steel. Because... Mm, oof, oof. Uh, Pacific states, we can call in some, uh, some more. That's still not enough. Not even close. And we can't build steel mills. No. Shit. Well, this sucks. I guess we could get this stuff, but... Let's just get ahead of time field hospitals. Let's not make, uh, waste any manpower. We don't have to. Oh, shit. Uh, what happened to the front line here? But also, totally shit. We might just take their capital in a moment. Maybe. I guess. Sort of. Also got a nice little surround going on here. It's nice to see ya. Okay, go. Just, just fucking win, 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 win. And okay, that's the war done. Bish, bash, bosh. Didn't even have to bloody well kill him. Let's check the manpower real quick. Yeah, their manpower's not great. We're just going to take their army. Wait, their army? What the fuck am I on about? Also, how have they not surrendered? Are you kidding me? That's... Fucking really? How much is this worth? That's worth nothing, but apparently it's worth something, at least. Let's just, uh, unassign you. We'll unassign all of you. You two march onto here and then swing into there. They still got... They've got Derna as a state. No, wait, that's, that's part of Tarbrook. Ah, oh, I captured Tarbrook as well. Good old rats of Tarbrook. Here we go. Keep spreading out. Man, how are they? How are they still resisting? What is this? Okay, spread your boys. Roll you down there. Down to there. That'll be right. Here we go. Gather up. Hopefully, once we take this state, that should knock them out of the fight. God, why are they just? They've just spread themselves so thin. Any two of my lads can weaken them, and they're not actually able to attack out and do anything really. Hey, good one, you surrounded me. Too bad I've got your fucking port, because I own your capital. Good job. Excellent. You really, you really did it. You really, uh, really stopped me there, didn't you? Really gave me what for? Really, uh, stopped me from invading and annexing your country, didn't you? That's, uh, that's exactly what you did. Yep. Let's get bloody, uh, tossing in factories. What do we even want? A few more factories here. I mean, like, Jesus Christ, they've got a lot of factories here for a country with no bloody manpower. And apparently no clue on how to defend itself. Here we go. Trust those lads. Wait, why did that capital just... What? What? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, this is this is weird and wonky. Oh, this is Tripoli. Oh, right, okay, right. Tripoli, Tripoli, Tanya. Completely different places. One's a capital now, apparently. Go, wait, 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 retreat, would ya? There we go. Fall of Lisbon. The Portugal city has been... Oh, no! So, the Portugal. Portuguese city. Oh, man. Fucking commune of France. Bastards. It was so nice before they came around. And now look at this. We got the German syndicalist state and the commune of France and it's all just gone to hell. I could have held them back at that bloody border. Never would have gotten past my bloody, uh, my forts. Here, yeah, come on. Okay, we've taken that. Apparently we need to take, uh... Tripoltania. Can we get some lads around here? You boys, form up on this part here and just push through. No reason to be concerned. Oh, they're not going to bloody starve because they've still got their capital here, don't they? Yeah. Okay, that guy just got surrounded and killed. I'm really not okay with that. Guys, go rescue him, would you? For fuck's sake. Save him. Save him, you pricks. Oh, hang on. Just hold yourself. Hold yourself, mate. We're on the way. Helps are coming. Here we go. I still want to send... Okay. I'm going to send some of these guys in from uh, this side in order to sort of push out. There we go. Okay, no worries. Beautiful. Alright, attack in there. 
That's going to free him. And we can move these boys up here. Ah, no worries. Triple done, yes, my... Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just just a little bit faster. Oh, no, Carlos Spain's gone. Man. Man. Man, that fucking sucks. Man. Man. Oh, man. I'm trying to see if... I don't know, someone else took a state. I didn't really care to check. Ah, oh, we lost him. Fucko. All right, whatever. New England's capital. Oh, shit. How's these, how are these guys doing? Canada's slowly falling. Pacific states are pushing in, though. Holy shit. Go Pacific states. How's uh, Mexico doing for troops now? Nine. So bugger all. So what's native autonomy give them? Nothing important. Okay. Shit. All right. And can we bloody... Portugal's gone. Sad day for the world. Wait for those lads to land. Alright. Go. And go. Let's just crush them. Two-way attack. We'll be right. Call in some more civvy factories. Uh, build up the infrastructure along the coast here. Because I know we're going to need it. We don't need it in the eastern desert. That's fine. But I know we're going to need uh, a supply line back to my capital. So here we go. And also we're going to upgrade Ethiopia. Here we go. Um, just put some of that. So we'll put some land forts all throughout the place. It's this super cheap stuff that should boost their... Uh... Hang on, that's... Uh... Should boost their uh, bloody puppetry status so they'll uh, stay my puppet for longer and hopefully become like a puppet that makes me... Uh, what do you call it? That gives me more manpower. That should do it. Tell you what, we'll even run a few of those through first because they're nice and quick. Beautiful. All right. Oh, no, no, um, uh, oh, we're producing spare trucks, so we're going to send you guys some spare trucks. Here you go. We'll, uh, I don't know, percentage. Like 20% of my trucks, and I'm going to send you 5% of my uh, guns. There we go. Slowly over time, knock your uh, puppetry stuff down. Punch through here if we can surround these guys. Do it. If we can't, done bloody matter. I mean, I'll give it to them. For such a terrible state, they were resilient. They were quite resilient. But I'm just going to take all your states now. And now I've got a bunch more factories. Happy days. Uh, what do we want around here? Nothing, nothing. And nothing, nothing. And nothing, nothing. Let's get our nukes, because Somalis need nukes, don't you bloody... Oh, I haven't researched marines yet. What am I doing? What am I playing at? Okay. Let's see here. So, we'll get these guys on the main line here. We'll put some of you back into the main line. There we go. I'm thinking that the Ottomans are going to be my next goal, and that'll probably be, like, the end of the series, maybe. I mean, like, I'm not sure where I'd go from the Ottomans. Annexation of Libya. Okay. Uh, yeah, no. No, no, fuck you. I'm taking all of your fucking factories. There's so many. To... Oh! Sweden! Speaking of kicking in the bloody Norway's teeth. Holy shit! Not in a faction... 12 versus... Oh, go Sweden. Go Sweden. Go Sweden. I want to see what uh, Seek Military Aid actually does. What are you doing? Oh. 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 Mm, oh. They might actually get in the common turn. Go Sweden. Go Sweden. Leg it. Get into their country quick. Alright. What do we want here? Naval combat theory. We really don't need that. Let's get the industry stuff. We'll go down here and grab all that. And I just see like further industry investments. Oh, infrastructure rather. That's all cool. Base national unity. I mean, why do I ever want this? It's so useless for me. I've already got 90% national unity and I've got infinite political power, so I don't really care. Alright, cool. So no, either way, we've taken that. We'll go 10 lads here. From Alexandra. Um, I guess we want to land like... What's... Oh shit, their navy's actually pretty tough, isn't it? I was going to say we'd probably just... What the shit am I looking at in the north? Hang on. We'd want to land around their, like, capital sort of area. So probably, we could, we could actually land there, yeah. Ah, oh, we'd want to land on that, like, the far coast and control their capital. And, like, uh, hold it. Oh, shit, cause they, wait, they've connected this up. That's not a thing in Base Hearts of Iron, is it? Or have they changed it? Because that definitely didn't used to be a thing. The only connection point was here, surely. They must have added that. Um, more importantly, where did my... Wait, what? Okay, yeah, select this. What the shit? 
like this. I guess you just don't get an invasion plan? Okay. Wait, why can ten of you invade? Really? What? I don't- I don't have the tech, do I? Oh! Oh shit, they changed uh, to ten for a minimum invasion. Oh fuck, okay, didn't know that. Well, fair enough. I actually prefer that. Five is annoyingly low. Um... Alright, fair enough. That's cool. So we can uh, invade with these guys. We want to go hit the capital. I hope it's aimed at their capital, because I can't fucking tell. But uh, I guess let's just start our uh, justification. And also check out what the shit was that happening in the north. I like how I'm justifying for the impassable desert as my uh, as my reason. <laughs> they own this and technically it's ours! Oh shit, actually, Aman. We've got uh, the Amani front. Alright, hell yeah. We're going to grab some uh, a small number of lads. Alright, let's put in the trickster. Mr. Barra. This boy is going to be our uh, Amani Somali Brigadi. Perfect. My dog just kicked the door accidentally. And she's looking very concerned. Perfect. Alright, you can uh, deploy down to here. Still can't go in for- Wait, hang on a second. We can totally kill Yemen now. Of course we can, because they're not even in a faction anymore. So, donk. Hang on, let's switch this around real quick. So... Cancel justification. Begin justification. Begin justification. Perfect. That'll work. Uh, and army-wise, you guys have got fuck all, correct? You've got one. Perfect. Get on this border. Uh, and we shall push in here. And crush you lads. Alright, perfect. So we've got these guys ready for an invasion. These guys ready to push in there. Now, what's happening in the north? What is this? Oh, that's the Empire of Japan. And that's the Russian Republic. Of course it is. Of course it is. What else would it be? Anything logical? Clearly not. Holy shit. How does Bulgaria have less military factories than me? They've got eight. I could steamroll Bulgaria. I almost definitely will once I'm done. Once I've landed on like the Ottomans area, I'm just going to go like rush into Bulgaria. I just have to hold the line for like 10 seconds, watch as all the equipment fails, and then uh, push in. Wait. Oh, for fuck's sake, do you want me to go back? Wait, hang on. These divisions that are here, are they not volunteers? Are they just chilling there? Because they, they can't get out. There's like, there's, there's no way for them to get home. If that's true, could I invade the German... I mean, they've got people on my border. The question is, how many? Because if it's true and all their divisions are stuck overseas, we could, like, totally invade them and just be fine. I wish you could build radars, like, on the border, because... I don't need to scan here, I need to scan my fucking border, dude! Man, that's weird. Alright, hang on. I need marines, because I need to build my, uh... My, uh, sea raiders. Smiley pirates. Fair no. Holy shit, okay. I mean, they're holding out. The Ottomans are certainly holding out, but they are not gonna hold out once I invade. Nah, they'll collapse in a fucking second. What? What are these divisions doing?! Because they're starving, they're not actually... Yeah, they can't find a valid path to target. I'm guessing these divisions are meant to be, like, trying to get home, but they're just stuck in exile. Which is kind of hilarious. Anyway. Um. Hmm. The problem I'm seeing is that the bloody, uh, Russians and Japanese are going to have a huge war score compared to me. Once, uh, we get to claiming. But, uh, I mean, better something than nothing. And I can always kill them later. Why am I researching? Oh, stop. Stop. T t Tom, no. Why did I just research mechanized equipment? I haven't built anything related to that. We can do some uh, conversion, maybe? Some excavation? Some synthetic refine? Uh, let, let's just get... Let, yeah, let's get rockets. Fuck it. Because that's what, that's what I research when there's nothing left to actually research. I could get some radar station upgrades, maybe, but... Oh, look. Their one division is a cavalry division. Of course it is. Also, I've just discovered if you scroll when you're zoomed in far enough, you just sort of skid. See? Look. <laughs> what the shit is that? Skid, 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 skid. Alright, beautiful. We got that. And done. Alright. Tell you what. We might tap out here for this episode and we'll be back next time with uh, the invasion of the Ottomans. I'll, like, skip to when we're actually invading the Ottomans. Because really, I don't think much is going to happen between then and now. And the uh, time is not going... Uh, time's not going quick, that's for sure. What's the, what's the numbers on this? Yeah, f uh, 30... It's called 40% rather. Beautiful. Alright, we'll get started on that. 
thank you all for watching. This has been the Somalia running Kaiser Reich. Definitely got a little bit more up my sleeve. Maybe I can... Yeah, how's Sadan doing with that whole manpower thing? Sadan? You're moving up to limited. Still got zero fucking manpower. What are you spending it on? Here comes help. How are you doing this? I want to know. Here comes help. Farewell. <laughs>